what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here's into our screen five again here today so during the last week we had gotten two new featurettes from the upcoming film and in one of the featurettes there was i think this was the more recent one where melissa barrera is talking about the characters the new characters that are involved in this upcoming fifth entry she has this moment now this could be taken out of context uh in the sense that we haven't we we need to see the whole entire behind the scenes stuff with them using this language and just seeing what brought them up to this moment because this could be edited in a way to get you to just speculate like i'm doing right now <laughs> but she has a moment in the feature where she says each new character is tied to a legacy character or something like that now is that literal if it is literal then how would tara carpenter be in related to a legacy character other than of course by association with her sister sam carpenter who many of us have kind of just deciphered that based off of some of the things that are shown from the featurettes and the fact that she's wearing the similar clothing to what billy loomis has worn before in the franchise that she has a connection to billy loomis so sam being Tara's sister by association that would be Tara's connection I guess and then as far as like the other people we know Liv she's related to the McKenzie family that we first got introduced to not necessarily on screen but by the by the Beckers when they mentioned them in that film and then we also know that Wes is a relative of Judy and we know that M Mindy and Chad relatives of Randy uh and I think the only pe person that we really are not too sure about, or the only two people I can think of, would be Richie and then Amber. Amber and Richie. Like, there's nothing that indicates they're connected to anyone. So I've seen people talk about this online where it's kind of talked, where they kind of mentioned about Cotton Weary. What if one of them is related to Cotton Weary in some capacity? And. Because I know Richie's last name is Kirsch. So for anyone who wants to jump down in the comment section and say, well, he can't be a, rel a relative since his last name isn't <laughs> uh, Weary, that, that means nothing. There's there's countless cousins you'll meet who have different last names for different reasons. So Richie could be related to Cotton. Maybe Amber's related to Cotton. Uh, the other person I know we have to think about is Vince. Many of us have deciphered that just because his last name is Schneider doesn't eliminate him from the running of being related to Billy or Stu. But the more the more footage that comes out and the more we kind of piece together what they release and going off of assumptions that the homages are placed in there for specific reasons. So just like how Mindy was wearing Randy's color patterns at one point in the film. It looks like Sam is going to be wearing Billy's color patterns in the hospital where she has on the white tee and then jeans. So that's probably another indication that, again, she's related to Billy Loomis. So with Vince, that leaves Stu. So Vince could be related to Stu. And again, the only people we don't really have too much to go off of so far would be Richie and Amber. Amber could be someone. Amber could be related to maybe a past victim uh maybe she's related to someone from screen two maybe she's related to someone from screen three or again if it's not anything to be taken literal from up from up melissa barrera has stated she doesn't have a relation at all she's just someone who who exists within this universe and she's one of the many characters that just don't have a relation to a legacy character from the past so that's why i'm saying we need to see that full behind the scenes featurette to understand what she what brought her up to that point because it could just be an exaggeration or her just kind of simplifying things to talk about a using that specific word to represent a, a vast majority where she says each each new character has a connection to the to a legacy character and as you watch the film of course you you'll see that it's not each new character but her word choice there was just used to represent the vast majority of what is true and that is that a lot of these characters are related to past legacy characters so as far as like the feature rest that have been coming out i know we've been seeing things that show richie with his arm being slit we've already saw that in the trailer though and he has like a bandage around his wrist probably showing that from the effects of that uh, i guess also confirming that he will be surviving that attack assuming he didn't get attacked at a different point a, a different moment of course uh, and if somehow that 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 basement scene with him and Sam talking that we saw in the featurette, if that somehow isn't orchestrated or occurring earlier in the film, uh, he's going to survive his attack in the hospital. We've seen footage. We did get our first look at the comedy aspect twice. I would say twice. 
uh at first glance i thought richie was the one saying the i'll be right back line but in that feature if you actually go back and look i don't believe his word i don't believe his mouth his mouth was moving at that instance but someone says i'll be right back while richie is going to the cellar that we know Stu disappeared into when he went to go get some drinks or do whatever he wanted oh uh, yeah he said he was going to get another beer before he did his little thing before while randy was going over the rules to survive a horror movie that was one of the more comedic aspects of that original film I, that gets me every time uh, so we see that recreated in the featurette for the new screen film. And then Mindy is shown, assuming this is not edited, two different scenes edited edited to look like they're occurring at the same time. We see Mindy sitting there looking looking off saying and laughing slightly saying he's going to die, which I'm sure is going to have a lot of people laughing. Then there's a moment with Sam, and I know a lot of people are coming down on Melissa Barrera for her acting in this in this short snippet, which I don't really get. I think she, she seems like she's doing a, a, a tremendous job as sam so far uh seems very likable and her performance in in the heights definitely has me more intrigued to see what she brings to a horror film i've seen some of her other works too but in this snippet of sam talking with gail and uh sydney gail and sydney i guess are telling her that they want sam to help them find ghostface and kill him so then sam responds with you want me to help you in the morning of a and the, and the host of a morning show to commit murder <laughs> And then they both look off at Sam as if she's the one who's crazy and says, yes, that's that that is what we're asking you to do. So I'm sure that'll be a moment that has everyone laughing. The only thing I guess that I do not necessarily like about that is I, I, I mean, I have to see how it how it comes off on screen, because if it's done in a way where it's just like it's like it's positioned as a way to be like a cue for laughter i would hope that's not how all of the comedy is handled where you can feel that they want everything to be like a cue for laughter because in the original film with that laughter it just flowed so well with everything coming on on your screen it felt organic it felt natural so i hope we don't have anything that feels like cues with the comedy here but what did you guys think about the featurettes that we got this week or last week what do you think is going to happen when do you think we'll get the second trailer and tomorrow is the 20th anniversary so hopefully it's tomorrow but let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification that you never miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course if there's any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video